Sagittarius, what's good? Welcome to my channel. My name is Onwar, professionally known as DJ Onwar himself, and I do have an Instagram if you'd like to check it out. If not, that's cool. That's not the reason that we're here today, right, Sag? Today we're here to take a look into your recent past, your present, and see what you got coming in for you in regards to love and relationships. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising placements. Keep in mind, not everything you hear is going to resonate. Take what's yours. Disregard the rest. You know the rules. This ain't your first tarot reading. All right? Sorry I've been gone. I've been super busy. I didn't want to come back and be and not be consistent, so I'm going to try to be consistent. If not, I hope, hopefully you guys stick around like you did before and uh, uh, allow me to make my baby steps. But I'm going to do my best because I want to be here. So Please hit the thumbs up. Uh, leave comments. Share all that stuff. Help motivate me. The algorithm was hating on me really bad and like hiding my videos. So it became discouraging. I was like, well, why am I even doing this? So help the algorithm out if you will. All right. All right. Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius? What's the most important messages for Sagittarius? Very accurate messages. Sagittarius, how you doing? You look good. All right. Sagittarius. Sun, moon, Venus, and jumper. All right. Overall energy, bottom of the deck, moon in reverse, major arcana, typical Pisces, somebody with Pisces in their charts. This is something coming to light. This is uh, this reading is going to be in regards to something coming clear, coming to light. It could be some type of secrets exposed or uh, some big uh, uh, revealing of something. We'll see. It looks like the situation here is uh, somebody's walking away. This could be you, Sagittarius, walking away from somebody. Somebody could be walking away from you. Could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But it looks like uh, there was an emotional connection here, and somebody has turned their back on it and is walking in the opposite direction here. They could be going off into the own, into the unknown with this moon here. They could be doing this in secret, or or running off with someone, or or towards someone in secret. But the moon represents things that we don't know. It's, it's things that are unclear. Um, but with the moon in reverse as overall energy, I feel like things are about to become clear. Possibly through this reading, so stick around. Coming in as a challenge or a blockage, it looks like there was, could be some type of separation. I see this is your person. This person could be an Aries. They could have Taurus in their charts. But this is a, a mother figure. This is wifey. This is, um, she's your empress, but she's in reverse. And she's coming in as an obstacle or a, a, a problem, a challenge, some type of blockage here. So it looks like there was some type of separation here with you and your person. This could have been your wife. This could have been um, you know, um, your girl or your, 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 your man. It's a feminine energy, but, you know, whatever. Um, ultimately, it's, it's, it's a mother figure, so a, a female, a biological mother, woman, so... This person could have some type of um, insecurities. But overall, so far, I, what I'm seeing is that you're, it looks like you're walking away from this person. Or she's walking away from you. Something came to an end. Something that had the potential to grow. That was fertile. Came to an end. And that's the problem here. Or it could be this mother figure who is the problem coming in sideways as a challenge. In the root of the matter, looks like somebody is uh, somebody's trying to come up with some type of creative idea. Somebody could be uh, taking action or wanting to take some type of action. But they're trying to fine tune. They're trying to figure out what how to take this action. Or I feel like somebody's analyzing something. Just like really analyzing something before they do try to take any type of action. It could be in the early planning stages. In the recent past, somebody was holding some secrets. Not giving up the goods, not giving up the dirt, keeping things in. They could have been doing things in secret. I feel like your intuition was telling you about this, though. This is also the card of intuition. You could be dealing with a... Um, a Pisces, or you could be dealing with a, uh, let's see, Aries, Taurus. Um, I feel like your intuition was telling you something in the back. Your intuition was telling you that there was some type of secrets that this person had secrets. It's like you knew, you knew everything. 
if you notice, the high priestess, she's holding uh, the, the book of life in on her lap. So inside this book is the knowledge of everything. But she keeps it in. She doesn't say anything. She's got the world on her head. But she doesn't say anything. She's uh, she's mute. So this is your intuition saying, like, I know it. I have all this information. Maybe you couldn't get it out or maybe you couldn't word it. Or it's like it's knowing something but not being able to prove it. It's like it's that type of energy here. Possibly in regards to somebody's secrets. Somebody was being um, either unloyal or 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 disloyal in the connection. This empress in reverse here. I feel like that's why you're walking away from this. So now the ace of swords is in reverse for your conscious goal. Ace of swords in reverse. This is for your uh, this is for your conscious goal right here. You could be wanting to let somebody have it or or say some some sharp edge, some sharp word things to or have some, a sharp exchange of words with this person. You could also could be wanting to just have. I don't know if that's like a no communication or just or keep something to yourself. I don't know. I'm going to have to clarify on this and see why this would be a, a conscious goal. Ace of Swords in reverse. What's coming in for you that you're unaware of? Six of Cups in reverse. So it doesn't look like you're going to be reconciling with this person. You guys, there could be talk of it or you could have been expecting some type of reconciliation with this person. Somebody, somebody has bad memories. I feel like this person possibly has bad memories of you, Sag. They think about you all the time. You're always on this person's mind. You're always on this person's mind, but it's like it gets taken over with something bad. It could even start off good, and then it gets taken over with something bad. This person thinks about reconciling with you, too, or coming back around. And, and reconciling doesn't even necessarily mean getting back together. It's just like, okay, we're cool. Like, we're, 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 not, in, we're not in conflict anymore. But I feel like it gets, um, it gets overtaken by negative thoughts. This person could be bringing some type of, I don't want to say negative thoughts. Like if you guys have a conversation, they could, it, it could be, end up, you guys could end up be talking about the past or something. The way you see yourself right now, judgment in, judgment in reverse. This is your own energy, Sagittarius energy. Judgment in reverse. So this is you. Uh, this is pretty much the same thing as here is the Six of Cups in reverse. It's like, we're not doing this again. Final decision. We're not doing this again. You could be avoiding making this uh, making a decision, but I don't, I don't feel like that's what it is. Not with this, this Eight of Cups here walking away. Sagittarius, it looks like your mind's made up like this. Like th It looks like this is it. Like this was it. This person that you're dealing with, Sagittarius, yeah, they're not taking any chances either. Could be dealing with an Aries, don't have to be. Lots of major arcana too. You guys are both in major arcana energy. This is you, Sag. Judgment in reverse. And then this is your person here, the fool in reverse. Also major arcana. So these are big, like, these aren't just... Oh, well, I'm not really sure. This is like, okay, I'm sure. These are these are turning points. These are like big events. It's like your person... You guys could have even talked about reconciling. I feel like you guys possibly talked about it. And then it's like you guys both decided, like, okay, this just ain't it. I see your person there in the energy of, like, I'm not taking no chances. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing it. You're in the energy of saying... I've made up my mind. I'm not, like, it's, this is it. In your uh, hopes and fears, you could be weighing your options, Sagittarius. It looks like you have ups and downs. It looks like, like one day you'll be like, oh, F that. Next day you'll be like, oh, I can't stop thinking about this person. Oh, 
whoa. I just saw the outcome chart. Hold up. Okay. Um, how does Sagittarius see this person? How does Sagittarius see this person? Please give me three accurate messages. How does ooh, too many cards to go? Too many. How does, how does uh, Sagittarius see this person? Well, the fortune in reverse and the uh, six of pentacles upright. So you see this person as somebody that you could have been successful with. You see this person that you wanted to have a fair, uh, uh, equal partnership, equal give and take. Three and three, that's equal, that's perfectly balanced, is reciprocity. Um, I, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Uh, you pay for dinner, I leave the tip. I drive to dinner, you drive home from dinner. It's an equal partnership. It, uh, par uh, partnership. It's, it's, it's equal, it's balanced. But with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's like it, it could never go. It's like this could have been a very positive thing. Well, the fortune, this is one of the most power, uh, positive cards. This is positive change. It's fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, you see the uh, TV show, right? This is positive, positive change. It could have been this. But something didn't change. Something didn't move. That The wheel stopped turning. The Wheel of Progress, the, the, the Wheel of Fortune just stopped. Click. And that was it. This is how you see this person. You possibly see this person like they gave up. How does Sagittarius feel about this person? How does Sagittarius feel? How does Sagittarius feel about this person? It, see, it looks like, yeah, you didn't want to give up. Determination. It looks like um, you're sticking to your guns, too, whatever this is. It looks like you're, you're standing your ground. You're not giving in. I see determination here. It's the energy of not giving up. How does this person see Sagittarius? Way too many cards. How, how does this person see Sagittarius? Oh, I just saw the lover. How does this person see Sagittarius? Please give me three magic messages. How they see you? You're not communicating with them. You're not saying anything to them, Sagittarius. They see that, that you stopped talking to them. You could have stopped responding to them. But they don't see you. They don't see you making any offers. You're not coming towards them. You're not. Um, it's like you're giving up. No communication. How does this person feel about Sagittarius? How does this person feel about Sagittarius? Please give me clear and accurate messages. How does this person feel about Sagittarius? Jumper. How does this person feel? Well, same thing. They got the Page of Cups in reverse. You're in the Pinnacles. Page of Pinnacles in reverse. They they see you as, um. I mean, they yeah they see you as not saying anything, not not coming towards them, not making any offers, not saying anything. And the way they feel is that either unapologetic, like they didn't do anything, or or they didn't play any role in whatever it is, so they have nothing to apologize. It's it's the energy of like I'm not I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to say sorry. I I could I could just send this one little. Text message and say hi, but I'm not even going to do that. They could be feeling like you're doing that, Sagittarius. I feel like, so somebody's not, look, we got all the pages. We had, wait, how many? We got three out of four pages out here. And the root of the matter is that one of these pages is trying to figure out how to take this action. The other two pages aren't taking any type of action. No apologies, no messages, no nothing. So it's like it's like somebody wants wants the results without putting in the work. Somebody wants to like get buff without going to the gym. It's like they want to, they want it to work without putting in the effort, or they can't figure out how to do this. Or this could be how they how they see uh how they see and feel about you. What's the neutral energy? What's the neutral energy? Another jumper. A mutual energy between you guys. You guys both care about each other. Mutual energy, you guys both care about each other. You guys both know that you guys make a good team, a good partnership. You guys probably are, are successful together. You guys probably you could be working the same profession or the same career. You guys could own a business together. But... It looks like both of you guys are focused on your money, your finances. Finances possibly could have been an issue in this connection. But 
looks like both of you guys are, are, are focused on your finance. You guys can both be single right now, too. We're not dealing with anybody. Just, just focus on your pinnacles. Not really dealing with love right now. I feel like you guys do think about each other, though. I feel like you guys think about each other a lot, but it's like, I love you from afar. You look at his face. He's kind of like, uh. He's kind of daydreaming. He's got his money. Money looks right. He's got a throne with all kinds of berries and stuff. But there's no cups. There's no water. There's no love, no emotion around him. He's got money, though. So he's just kind of like, uh, well, whatever. He could be just, he could be thinking about you or you thinking about this person. But still focus on your finances, your money. That's a mutual energy. This is both of you guys. Was this person not worth Sagittarius to know? They want to make things right. Sagittarius. This person doesn't want you to know is that they do want to make things right here. You could be dealing with the Libra. Um, this person is planning. They're in the planning mode. Two of Wands. They're trying to figure something out. They're trying to... It's like their mind is made up. They, they've already made up their mind. Now they're trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to do this? I already know what I want to do. I know what I need to do. Now how am I going to do this? That's what this is down here in the root of the matter. This is the bottom line right here. This page of wands. Trying to figure something out. How can I take action? This person's not talking to me. Not, not making any apologies. This person's, there's no communication here. How am I going to do this? This person doesn't want you to know, Sagittarius, that they want to they wanna either restore balance or... They want to fix something that was broken and make it fair. Also, with the uh, the six of pentacles here, bring balance to the situation. Just be just fair, like flat, straight down the line. No more you, no more me, no no one is better. Nobody is no none of that. Just one, a, a union, just one, just one. There's there's nothing to be weighed out because it's only it's it's singular. Yeah, they want to bring. They want to. Um, Justice, this, and this is a big deal right here. But I feel like this person's thinking. They're planning something. They could be planning a trip. See this person standing over standing over water looking at a globe. This person could be planning a trip somewhere. Going somewhere. Going somewhere um, where they have to cross a large body of water, the ocean. Um, in your outcome, somebody's going to be making some type, someone some type of emotional offer here. I see somebody is going to possibly communicate with someone and make them an offer. Offer a cup of love. This person could be planning something Sagittarius to offer you some type of balanced cup of love. The cup might only be half full, so it'll be up to you to... Pour in your half, and then you guys fill that cup up, and then you make it one. But it's got to be balanced. It can't be more one or the other. However, it's up to you, Sag, because I do see that you've walked away from this. I do see that you've walked away from this with the Eight of Cups and uh, the Upright and the situation. However, it is just the situation, so maybe that's just what we're here to talk about, is the fact that you did walk away from this. Or if that's your energy, take it whatever side you resonate with. But anyway, that's what I'm seeing. Whether you accept it or not, let's go through all 12 signs real quick. All right, dealing with an Aries. Dealing with the Aries, uh, things are going to be moving forward. You're going to move to the next stage, the next level of your connection. If you're talking, you're going to start seeing each other, seeing each other, dating, dating in a relationship, relation to marriage. Wherever you are, you're going to go to the next. Uh, stage right here. This also could be a twin flame connection. If you're dealing with a Leo, um, you could be going and having social gatherings with this person or uh, or with somebody else that maybe this person doesn't know about. You could be going out and dilly-dallying with someone else, a third party. I see somebody here who's a third wheel, too. Like, if the couple's going out or doing something, somebody's a third wheel. 
Possibly kind of all along the way, but I'm not really feeling that. I'm not really feeling that right now. I mean, I'm feeling it, but I'm not feeling that for everybody at all. But um, if you're dealing with the Leo, I, I do see that there could be some interference here, some uh, third-party type energy here. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, um, somebody's going towards their happiness. Somebody brings somebody a, a ultimate happiness. I, I feel like things are being illuminated. Things are coming to light. Things are making sense. But somebody's, somebody's focused on their happiness or they are extremely happy right now. It could be going towards their happiest or happiness. If you're dealing with a cancer, excuse me, you're dealing with a cancer, the cancer is, um, they're, it's like they're trying to, they're trying to figure something out. They're trying to figure out how to take action on something. What should I do? How, how should I do this? How can I do this? I feel like this person could just like pop up out of nowhere. You could like accidentally bump into this person. Or they might just call you and hit you up just out of nowhere. Like, let's say you haven't talked to this person in, in two years. And then they just they hit you up and it just picks up where it left off. They'd be like, like there was no space, like there was never those two years in between. Like you guys have been talking every day. Even if it was like something bad, it's like that never happened. It's like, oh hey, what's up, hey, what's up? how you been? It's like that kind of kind of type of energy. Kind of, you see his face, he's kind of like, oh, hey, hi, what's up? This is a page of wands. So it is a take an action card, trying to figure it out. So I feel like they could just be like, oh, hey, just out of nowhere. That, that could be how they, if, if they don't know how to do it, that's probably how they'll do it. Just like, oh, hey, what's up? Or it could be vice versa. If you're dealing with a uh, Pisces, Pisces is having some type of regrets. They could have a, a, a negative attitude towards whatever... This connection is just not being able to see any good out of it. Somebody could be doing a lot of drinking too, making bad decisions whether they're drinking or somebody's hungover. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, if you're dealing with Scorpio, um, there could be some type of message coming in. Somebody could be giving you some money. It could even be child support. Who knows? But um, uh, you know, you have something coming in. You have something of value coming towards you. If you're dealing with a Virgo, excuse me, if you're dealing with a Virgo, um, let's see a mother figure here. This is similar to the Leo reading that I just did. Um, I see a wife or a mother. You could be playing, like playing house with someone. But I feel like this person, whoever she is, she's serious. She's not playing. This is somebody who's got it all, like as a, as a mother or as a wife. Like, she does it all. She holds it down. She could be waiting for you to figure out what you want to do. But she's ready. <coughs> Excuse me. It doesn't have to be a female either. It could be, uh, it's, it's a feminine energy, but it depends on who is the masculine or who's the feminine in this connection, so. That's for you to determine, because I don't know if that's what I'm talking to. It's not for the collective. If you're dealing with the Taurus, go with the Taurus. Oh, the tower. Sudden change, shock, upheaval. Disaster. Something could have happened. Something traumatic could have happened. Could have put you put you out of a situation or moved you out of somewhere. You could have suddenly had to go or suddenly had to move. Something like could have fallen down. But whatever this is, it changed everything. It came in fast like that and changed everything. It was shocking. If you're dealing with a Cap uh, Capricorn, Capricorn's feeling like they're getting everything that they want. Their wish is coming true. They could be celebrating and drinking on it. Somebody could have just got to the store or, or somebody just delivered them maybe something to drink and they're feeling like they won. Is it the weekend? It is, right? Saturday. Oh, maybe. Anyway, somebody somebody has a wish coming true right here. Somebody, somebody's got to experience wish fulfillment here. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Aquarius is uh, possibly daydreaming. Uh, they could be a little not confused, but trying to trying to choose out of different options. They have multiple options, a bunch of different options. And trying to um, trying to choose what it is. They could they have their eye. They it's like they all look good, but they all don't look that great. So it's hard to choose. 
somebody could be going to psychics and wizards and stuff like that to help them try to figure it out. If you're dealing with a Libra, dealing with the Libra, it's going to be a passionate new beginning. Yeah, you're going to meet somebody. Um, if you haven't met this person already, uh, you're going to meet somebody. This is going to be, it's going to be exploding with emotion, I guess. It's, it's big, so enjoy it. Hold on to it. Do it right. The cup is overflowing with passion and romance and all that good stuff. And if you're dealing with a Gemini, then with a Gemini, somebody wants to win something at all costs. Somebody could not be playing fair by chance or playing games. Maybe it could be mind games, but I don't feel it's anything big, but it could be just annoying. So, anyway, Sabs, that's what I have for you. Hopefully it resonated. Please like, share, subscribe, help the algorithm out. The algorithm helps keep me motivated. So, I'm going to try to be back here, like, quick. I'm not going to be taking these gaps. I didn't want to come back and then have to dip out again and be inconsistent. So I really appreciate it if you're still here. And if it's your first time, I appreciate you uh, hanging out. Usually I go live, but this is my first one in like four months. So I figured I'd have this time. Anyway, that's what I got. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. All right. Let me know. Uh, let's talk about it in the, in the comments. All right.